we've got Glenda, who is a wildlife carer. Glenda is not only going to show us around, but she's going to show us her ringtail possum that she's looking after. At the moment I'm looking after a little ringtail possum which is about 100 grams. She was found on the ground without mum or dad around. Quite healthy, doesn't seem to have anything drastically wrong with her, but without possum milk, which is a, a dried formula that we mix up to a, a liquid, she won't survive. They curl up the leaves in their, their tail and you can see them running along the branch with um, leaves to, to build their own little nest. Ringtails are generally not a problem in houses because they build their own nests called drays, but sometimes brush tails can make nests in people's roofs and they have to be relocated. But we sell possum boxes up here at Kalkari. You can put a possum box out in your yard for a brush tail and it doesn't need to live in the roof. It's just that most of the big trees with all the hollows that they need have been cut down. And if ever a possum is attacked by a cat, they need to have antibiotics within 12 hours or they'll die. Because there's, uh, the germs in the cat's saliva is just fatal to little ringtails particularly. So they need to um, get to a vet pretty smartly. But ringtails, as you see, are quite tiny. They only get to about a kilo. She's only 100 grams. And she's incredibly cute. Now this is this impossibly cute little ringtail. <laughs> oh, come on, Mum. <laughs> there you go. Now I can give you some milk, sweetheart. Let's see if you, if you were going to be able. Yep, she's drinking. Half the time you can only tell because you hear the lapping. So little movement. It'll be all bundled up. So how long are you going to keep her, Glenda? This little one will be in care overall for several months and then she'll go into a small cage. We'll be trying to find her a buddy because ringtails are generally twins or triplets. And so when she gets a little buddy, she will feel much more like a little possum. You release her where you picked her up? Um, what we try to do is to take them back when they're 450 grams. By that time we put them in a little dray that we make for them. What's a dray? Uh, that's the homes. They make their own homes, about the size of a, a soccer ball. Do you tag them or...? No, so... we can't afford to do that. It would be very nice to do it. We've often discussed it. Uh, we would like to be able to microchip them or something, but yes. that's big money. And um... Well, come on, sponsors, you've heard it. Because <laughs> <laughs> people say, how can you ever let them go? Well, the only way you can let them go is knowing that next week there's going to be another one that needs looking after. One of the problems that we discussed... It's a good research topic, isn't it? It Ra would be. Maybe radio track them and find out what actually happens to these possums. Yes. I'll see if I can get Macquarie Uni interested in this sort of project. When they go out, their only defence really is their speed and their agility. They, if something attacks them, that's, that's it. it. I mean, they, they've got little tiny claws and little tiny teeth, but that doesn't do much damage to your big predators. We know that once this one goes into a bigger cage and then a bigger cage, there'll be other little tiny ones that need looking after and they're all incredibly cute. Baby ringtail. How good is that? So cute. Sweetheart. If you've got a possum in your roof, there, Sydney Wildlife will recommend a couple of people who will relocate them humanely because some people just take them and dump them in the National Park thinking they're doing the right thing, but of course they're territorial but we have some people who will relocate them properly and you can put a possum box in your yard and, and they can live in that because that's all they're looking for, shelter. Because <coughs> most um, brush tails need a hollow that's in a tree that's maybe 150 years old and there are not that many trees that are 150 years old no. that are left with hollows. So they've got to find somewhere else. So they'll find a shelter in nice the roof. roof somewhere. Mm. But we can relocate them humanely, so we try to do that. <laughs> She's a gorgeous <laughs> creature. <laughs> we find you a little buddy, won't we? This is Enviro 2, <laughs> finished for this month. We're very lucky to have had Glenda Clark give up her time and explain what was happening here. Thank you very much, Glenda. My pleasure.